There are many powerful apps and online tools that can streamline our workflow and engage our students. Many of these digital tools are defined as on-demand service providers because they provide access to a tool after the user agrees to terms and conditions of service. These click-through contracts are the agreements you see before installing an app or extension or creating an account. But what exactly are you agreeing to when you click those terms of use? We've all seen terms of use documents and recognize that they're filled with so much legal language that even if we did read them, we might not understand them. The problem with not reading the terms of use is that we don't know what rights we may have just given away. Do the terms of use actually allow the vendor to use our data, sell our data, or store our data in locations that create security concerns? Remember that it is every employee's responsibility to carefully read these terms of service and privacy policies to ensure that every student's data is kept private and secure. So what should you look for in these policies? Use the following advice to help determine if the resource is safe to use. There are some statements that may mean privacy is at risk, such as, we may collect, store, or share information to third parties, information may be visible to third parties, or utilizes location services for the user. There are also statements you should be cautious about and think twice before accepting, including that the tool may collect and store information or access your contacts. Some statements are generally acceptable, like collect basic user information or we will not share information with third parties. In addition to looking for these common phrases, you can also consult many excellent resources like the Common Sense Privacy Evaluation or the Student Privacy Pledge. Remember that these can be used as a guide, but that there is no fail-safe way to ensure that each resource is accurate and up-to-date at all times. If you want to take a look at previously reviewed on-demand service providers that are being used throughout the district, remember that this list is always available to you on the BVSD Student Data Privacy website. Another thing to look for in these terms of use is any age restrictions. Under COPA, or the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, children under 13 years of age are prevented from signing up for online tools without parent permission. A regulation in COPA allows the school district to act on behalf of a parent and keeps the responsibility of data privacy with the district. If you are signing up your under 13 students for web-based tools, please let their parents know. With these resources and advice, we hope to empower all BVSD teachers and staff to use digital tools that they believe will make a positive impact in their lives and the lives of their students, while also ensuring data privacy.